What about discount discount substance then December the re the reverse subathon? I'm only gonna ask you for money one more time. <laughs> I'm only gonna ask you for money one more time in 2023. <laughs> okay, all right, maybe we don't do the reverse subathon. I don't know. We'll 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 figure it out. It was fine, but not even worth close to the price. I believe that. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever bought anything from Whole Foods. I genuinely, I walked into Whole Food once, like, I used to do this thing. I don't know, Psycho Stick, you're a musician, so I'm going to assume that you know poverty the way that I, as a theater major, knew poverty. <clears throat> but I used to do this thing when I was super poor that I could only call food tourism. Poverty-driven food tourism. Farmer's markets... Whole Foods, specialty stores. God, the Italian market in Philadelphia and Reading Terminal Market in Philadelphia when I lived there were fucking awful for this, but I did it. Where I would just go down there and just walk around knowing that I couldn't afford any of it. Cheesemongers, specialty meat shops, fresh produce at the market. And just walk a figure eight through it and just look at all the beautiful food. Buy none of it. S steal free smells. And then go home and make a grilled cheese sandwich. Because that's what I could do. I think that's the only reason I've ever been in a Whole Foods. I think I had a recipe that I was trying to impress Amber with. I think maybe I had a recipe that called for truffle oil. And I went and bought like a $7 bottle of truffle oil. Freaked out about how expensive it was because it was $7. I used it on that one recipe for this pasta dish that I was doing. And then I went, this is too expensive to use. And I hid it in the back of my like stuff. And then I ended up having to throw it out unused ever again because I didn't realize it would expire and it, it turned into like, it, it became like eight years old. I dug it out one day and went, oh my god, this little truffle oil bottle, I remember this. And it was like, it expired two Olympics ago. So I think that's the only purchase I've ever made in a Whole Foods was that one, one, box, one small bottle of truffle oil that I was so nervous about using that I let it expire. I used to very much like my face without a beard. And then I hit my 30s, and suddenly my face looked like a police artist's profile sketch of what a suspected child kidnapper would look like. Area man, person of interest in string of child kidnappings from local parks. That's what my face started to look like. My driver's license photos look like when they caught a serial killer, and his mugshot, he's smiling because he had to, he had to give... He had to give the cops so many hints before they caught him, but he could finally stop. <laughs> Jesus, that's grim. If you saw the photograph, let's see. Hold on. Rich and, Richmond man and known Ponzi schemer, Ryan Caps. Richmond man and suspected flasher and sexual deviant, Ryan Caps. Richmond man and disgraced high school vice principal, Ryan Caps. Richmond man and alleged local counterfeiter, Ryan Caps. You've probably seen flyers around the neighborhood he just moved into announcing that he's bought the house at XYZ Main Street. Richmond man and Pahonka Ford employee of the month, September 2007. Richmond man and bankrupt real estate agent. I was just saying that all my photos without me having facial hair, I look, I look like the kind of person you wouldn't leave your kids with. I don't like to be clear. I'm a I'm a nice person. I try to be. I 
I try to be a nice person. But the way that I look without a beard, I, I, I fucking wouldn't leave my kids with me. Richmond man busted in local prostitution sting. That one works too well for that photo. Because the only way that guy's getting laid is if he pays for it. That's no shade on sex workers. But that dude absolutely pays for sex. Because no, no, no functional member of society wants to do the shit that he's asking to do. In the early afternoon? Fuck my life. What is this? Oh, Holy yeah. shit! Target acquired. I want you to see what that bit bomb is doing to OBS right now. Oh, did that fix it? 16 Angry Bears' message was glitching the fuck out. It was like... It was like it was in per like it was like it was on purpose, like it was a design aspect. It was sitting there like pulsing, <laughs> like, like it's trying to process. It's trying to pro like it's not even there. You don't even see it in the event stack for stream elements. That went through, and this message was just like four oh four. It just it blue screened so hard, and then switching scenes made it like kind of come back to life. I feel like if we're the only channel on the platform that hits level twelve, you'll get some press out of it at a minimum. Got what was it? Uh, I said, Raymond, I want Twitch to notice me. And Raymond said, if you hit level 12, I guarantee you there will be internal memos about you. That was that was that was Raymond's response was you hit level 12 and I promise you there will be meetings scheduled to, to specifically talk about your channel. And I went, hmm, hmm, compelling. We went and looked last night after the memeing of Taffy round one was done. We went and looked last night last night after the memeing of Taffy round one was done, and we could only find one channel that was on level eleven, and they were eight thousand now now nine or ten thousand dollars behind us. No nobody like again. I cannot emphasize this strongly enough. Raising or making any money on Twitch is fucking difficult. I can't sit here and fight this guy. Making any money on Twitch is absurdly difficult. Luck. So absolutely nothing about me going like, no other channels doing this is, is not a criticism. What they're doing is hard. What you're doing is impossible. Kinda, yeah. Alpha Thorn Omega. That's my, that, that's my, that's the reason that the panels that I do are so tough. Alpha Thorn Omega says, I feel like the uh, uh, ultimate conclusion on Twitch ends, Twitch's end when they talk to you is there isn't an easy way for the them to replicate the what you're doing and to cave. encourage other people to do it. So they'll shrug their shoulders and go, eh, good job. We'll see you the next time we have some batshit crazy thing that you need to tackle. Here's what you can buy. For six bits, you can put a charge on the active item that I'm holding. For eight bits, you can spawn a poop. In the room that I'm in. 69 bits, you can take a charge off the item that I'm holding. 88 bits, you spawn a button. A la the Stanley Parable. You spawn a button, and regardless of what's going on in the room, I have to touch all of them. Full, dis full discharge without using it. Sorry, that is a full discharge on my item without using it. If you don't want me to use my spacebar item, 69 bits means that I do not I do not get to use my item. 888 bits. Cards against humanity. You fill the floor with poops. 100 bits uses my active item, I believe regardless of charge. That was not a lot of fun except for when it was fun when I was carrying around the D100 last time. That's not fun when I have something like the IV bag or blood rights. 500 bits is the dice shard. You can re-roll a room of items, even if I'm super excited about them, if you're fast enough. I will never try, like, I will I will try to pause to give you chances to meme. Because I move 
for somebody who doesn't play the game very quick, I play the game pretty fast. But I will try to slow my roll to give you a chance to either help me or fuck me if I've got items I like or items I don't like on the floor. 1,000 bits forces the active item. 2,000 bits teleports me to somewhere, anywhere in the room. Basically the effect of a telepills. 2,500 bits is clear costume. So I think that just resets me back to my stock and standard McLaffy Taffy appearance, regardless of all the bullshit that's going on. Oh, is that is that directly to the I am error room now? I can't change this. This is not mine. This is uh, Rini's. I don't have the file for this. Oh, there's no chance of the I am error room with teleport. So it won't take me to the I am error room. It will teleport me to somewhere on the floor. Which, there is a chance. My bad. I'm getting there. So this is exactly the same as the teleport pill with a chance of the I am error room. Last night, I can't remember who it was, but some well-meaning asshole used this on me while I was contemplating a deal with the devil and the door closed behind me. Uh, that clears whatever costume effects I have going on. 5,000 bits fills the room with bombs that have Noah's face on them. That shit is actually scarier than the evil within. 75 bits resets the floor. 10,000 bits re-rolls my entire build and everything in the room. 420 bits spawns a book of stoners with a small voice line. We've got a couple. 4,200 bits spawns a much larger monologue from the book of stoners. And last night we got to see what eight. 88,888 medium for the voice line. Good. Last night we got to see what 88,888 bits does. It spawns ultra greed regardless of what room I am in. If I am in a room and you do that and the room is a one by one and I just started my run, all four doors will slam shut. There will be a line from GLaDOS. And in that situation, I will be swiftly murdered by Ultra Greed. Yeah? Are we on board and stocked up for those who want to participate? Murder. I am I'm mentally working- Oh my god, that's right! Also, if you do a sub, it spawns a random familiar for me to use. And your name is underneath it. Oh shit. It spawns a random sub and your name is underneath it. These are the hundred gifted that Ice did just a little bit ago that Nate has force spawned in. Noah gifts a tier one sub to Forgotten Paths. Look at him back there. Pulling up the rear. Meat Shield last night dropped about a hundred and... What was it? A hundred and twenty dollars? Dropped about a hundred and twenty dollars in bits. All as, um, poops. The poops last night from Meat Shield and Dartorn were so frequent that they broke. They broke the counter on the bottom left hand corner. It took two hours for it to catch up to what we did to it last night. I need that. I need that like really bad. I would also like to put a bomb here, so please stop. Thank you, chat. <laughs> last night, Meat Storm and Company did. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, Meat Storm and company did 3,600 individual cheer drops, most of them being poops. Filling the room with poops made it incredibly difficult to move around and actually, like, made the fight... Hello? Oh, hey, Glitch, what's going on? Yeah, no, I'd love to leave behind all the books I was just looking at. The Bible was really the one I wanted to take away. I'd love to start the floor over again. Big ups, homie. Thanks for that. <laughs> I genuinely was like, I think my game just crashed. Because, like, that only happened twice yesterday, and it wasn't in a situation like that. It was, like, it was in places where it really needed to not happen. Like, I, I was in between rooms or something like that. And I felt bad where somebody did it, but I was, like, switching levels. Nate did it. Nate did it, and we, like, switch we switched levels instead of, like, restarting the floor because it, it went too quick. 
and I felt like an asshole. That's the first time in this iteration of it that somebody has sent me back to the start where I was like, oh, that's... Dabby, man, the odds are really good. We're leaving here together, man. I mean, fuck it, he's not wrong. Also, a neat little treat we discovered last night, chat. I got high on Ambien before I recorded these lines. I don't remember what I said. I promised Nate I would get high on Ambien and I would record a whole bunch of Book of Stoners lines. Eight. 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 Okay, yep. Eight. See a button, hit a button. See a button, hit a button. Shit. Eight. Shit. Eight. See a button, hit a button. See a button, hit a button. Ah, get shit on Rummy Bread. Hey man, I'm really excited to see you. Why is there two of them? Oh, because I had one. I was running from a shot last night in between... What the fuck? Um... Hey... I have no head. I was running... Uh-oh. I have no head. I can't leave the room. <laughs> what did you do? I, dude, I was standing completely skit. Listen, sometimes we break things here. I genuinely can't move. <laughs> like, I can't leave the room. <laughs> Hey, okay. <laughs> the re chat. I want you to look at Twin Slug dead ass in the face right now. Because Twin Slug and this mod are and and the phrase I'm helping is the reason we have the I'm helping emote. Where where How do you leave? And then I left the legitimate Book of Stoners behind. It's got to be this way. Oh my god, is this the way out? Oh my god, is this the way out? I'm not like, so like the word is not mad. Because we're all having fun here. The word is not mad. But it's not fucking happy, you know? Like, I don't understand how to describe the fe- Mother fuck. Yes! Nate, the hero we didn't know we deserved. I was very stubborn about it too. I have, oh, fuck me. I can just, nope, nope. It's not the greatest room for this, guys. Whatever. That one's in a... Okay. I swear to fuck. I swear to fuck. There we go. I just gotta get out. I just gotta get out. Yeah! Joke's on you- Ah, oh, fucker! I was about- Oh, no, no, it just, it just teleported me out. Okay. I thought it was like, joke's on you that you made a better item. You turned it into meat, which is awesome. Nice. I got it! No, it doesn't- it doesn't matter! It doesn't matter, Taffy, you have missing no. Why are you caring? Why are you caring what you- what your build is? It doesn't- watch it be something new now. I'll play my- I'll play my cards above- above the table, chat. I told Noah that I- I suspect, based on the history of all of my experience with this channel, I suspect that if we get under a thousand dollars, this is gonna move pretty quick. Because I suspect, based on some of the poor impulse control that I've seen this week, and the amount of love that you seem to have for me and my family, but mostly the poor impulse control, I suspect that one. God damn it! I'm trying to get a thought out. 
I can, I can, I can push all the buttons down. Fuck you. I, I can get them all. I can get them all. And all the, the boy who lived, that's what they called me. I got there before old Joanne did. <sighs> Shit! Okay. Based on the poor and I know I have to go back and hit the one button that I missed. Thank you. Thank you, Ember Heart. Appreciate you. Bronze statue of you in my yard. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what was I even trying to say? Right. I was trying to say, um, <laughs> I was trying to say that based on the poor impulse control that I've witnessed on this channel, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, in believing that there is a chance that once this thing gets close, that there's going to be a handful of people who invest heavily in the meme economy, who are all, and a handful of people who are sitting on like a hundred survey bits, who kind of have a lottery ticket. I can't help but feel like there's going to be a a a very heated, spirited competition to see who can push it across the finish line, over the checkered line. God damn! Y'all got any of those familiars? I'm uh, moving. Nope, come on. Where'd he go? Nope, chill. Fucking chill. I have, a, I have an ass terrible build for this. There's one. Badger, we gotta do this together, buddy. You and me. There we go. There we go. We can do this. Two thirds. Halfway. You've never seen a streamer fight him in this room before. What? What is the matter with you? Is that it? Or is is this is this? This is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. She looks so sad in photographs. I don't know where that room is, Nate. What room? I would love to go back to that. I have a whole different build, by the way. With a charge shot. That's pretty neat. I like that. See a button, press a button. Don't let me miss if that thing goes off. I was trying to say if Noah has any forward thinking brand uh brands that he works with out there that they would get in here. Jesus Christ. That'll do it, chat. Oh, and it crashed! Keggy to 22 tier threes. I'll see you guys at TwitchCon 2024. Preparing to dispense product. Oh yeah? Are we? Are we preparing to dispense product? Preparing you prick! You would, Nate! <laughs> <laughs> you petty shithead! <laughs> it's a celebration, chat! We win! Somebody get Brizzy on the horn! Let him know he's going to TwitchCon next year!
Now paging Raymond. Why I'm re is this like an epilogue that goes into the story in my book? Oh, somebody gave Taffy a bunch of money. I hey, still don't Daffy, get it. How the heck are you? Whoa, Taffy, I've got lunch money. Taffy, man, Thanks. you're not gonna believe this, but I ran into this viewer and they gave me a lot of money and I think we should leave here together because they strike me as the kind of people who could make people disappear, man. You're not wrong, Book of Stoners. Fuck you, Noah. Just another day at work. Do I get a wristband this time? I had by God better. <laughs> Round up to five. <clears throat> we did. We did it in eight and a half days. Chat, I want to hit send. I want to hit send. But it's also like once I hit send... That part of the subathon's over, and it's been it's been weirdly fun. You know what I mean? Like the subathon's still going. We're still gonna go. I'm still with you until the timer runs out. All right, chat. This one's for you. You did this. One, two, three, and she's off. Oh, Brizzy just hit me up. <laughs> he says you're out of your mind. Pack your bags. You little shit. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're likely going to San Diego next year. <laughs> just, just in case, I, like, just in case you think I'm paraphrasing. Oh, look, it's trying. It's thinking about it. There it goes. Fucking just out of nowhere, too. This is right out of the right out of the chest cavity of the of the widget. Blah, blah. <laughs> just right, just just alien exploding right out of his chest. I do feel a little bit bad that Raymond was like, "There's a secret animation," and Chat was like, "Does it look like any of these?" And he was like, "It absolutely doesn't." I'll see you guys later, and just kind of noped out. <laughs> and I was like, "That's, yeah, that's you're not wrong." Okay, I was just saying to Ryan how proud of him I was and how happy for him I was. But I said, most of all, I'm so grateful to Chet because y'all are the ones who did it. You did it, and it's amazing. It just, I'm thriving, and it's scary because it brings tears to my eyes, but that's okay that, that you know, I've got lots of room on the road. But anyway, thank y'all so very, very, very much. It's amazing. I love you, Mama. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. I've got 23 hours, 8 minutes, and 37 seconds on the clock. I do have the best chat on Twitch. You are absolutely correct. All right, I love you, Mama. All right, bye. She checks in from time to time, as it turns out. Very cute text message from my brother-in-law. You guys remember last year, he had to get a kidney donated to him from his wife. <clears throat> he says, happy new kidney day, happy anniversary on the new kidney one year today. Thank God for my wife being a match. And the reason I tell you this, Chad, is because he follows it up with, 
to honor the occasion, I'll be spending next weekend crashing at Ryan and Amber's place and letting Ryan cook for me. Because realistically, that my my mother in law stayed here with him to take care of him while he recovered from kidney transplant, and I cooked for them while they were here. That was a year ago, yeah. That was a year ago that we did that. A year ago today. And um, it was the first time, maybe since moving into this house, that somebody ate my food and, and genuinely complimented it. And I went from like, I went from like, man, I'm, I will do anything I can to help my family. I just hope that at some point it doesn't become an inconvenience where I'm trying to run my stream and they're downstairs and there's the awkwardness of like, I gotta go upstairs and talk to strangers. But then after the first couple of meals, like I made chicken marsala one night and served that to them. And they came back around the corner. They were eating in the living room. Then they came into the dining room where I was sitting with the Amber and the boys and I'm watching the boys pick stuff out of it. And I'm watching Amber just like eat and stare into the middle distance. And he hobbles around the corner and goes, Ryan. I said, yeah. He goes, you make this? And I was like, yeah. What uh, What do I need to not do next time? And he goes, this is one of the best chicken marsalas I've ever had in my life. And I kept waiting for the punchline. And then my mother-in-law came around the corner and goes, honestly, Ryan, this is one of the best meals I've had in a long time. And I was like, my wife and kids can go back to Norfolk. My mother-in-law and brother-in-law live here now. If it's super, if it's super intense or something, if I find the one game that's like, I want to be the boshy or something like that, then we'll, we'll reconsider. But you got to go one more. Okay. To the core i was about to shit myself i was about to be like all right well chill wheel spin it is <laughs> i'm sure as fuck not doing demonologist right now how is it so far i feel like i'm starting to get it i'm i I'm, I'm worried i'm going too fast now whoops i'm worried that i'm going too fast now because i'm just like oh yeah you do this and you come in here and you sell the things you go boop 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 and then you turn those into boopity boops and yeah, there's actually a part of me that's worried now that I'm like, am I going too fast or like, but still, it's like, it's still, it's, aside from constantly being worried that I'm going to murder myself in game. It's surprisingly chill. I feel bad because like I went from the, I went from the euphoric place of being like, man, hype challenge complete. I can't believe we did it. To in a matter of minutes being like, in a matter of minutes being like, oh man, I can't get my brain off the fact that I need to know whether or not we get this iPad back and a part of me being like, damn, I wish I made more money. Get this. My brain now is going, damn, I wish I made more money so I could afford a second car. Like that's how fast when you're a married father of two. It, not to say it's all bad. But it feels like sometimes that like the big victories in your life, you get to savor for the length of a cigarette. And then after that, it's right back to it. Here's the new, who, here's the new next thing that has nothing to do with you. I did. I, I, I was in the process of kind of bemoaning the fate of being the dad and husband and all that jazz is that I got about an hour to celebrate that Lisa and literally instead of my, this was this was this was my exchange with Amber about the hype challenge. I called her and she goes, "Hey, baby, congrats on the." And I went, "Hey, thanks, baby. I appreciate that." Hey, one second. Uh, Gray forgot his iPad at the school and is near tears, and I need to know what to do. And she goes, "Oh," and like that was it. That was all I got. That's all the talking that she and I got to do about it because I had, I had to shift gears. Today feels like I, this thing that exists now, as goofy and manufactured as it is, 
is a thing that we all looked at out of a thousand channels and we went, we're going to get that first. And they went, it's not a, it's not a competition. And we said, sure, sure. It's not a competition. All right, got it. But that's only because we've already won. At least they're talking about us because honestly, I spent the better part of a decade not even being an afterthought, just not even being a thought at all to Twitch. And at the very least, they're going to think about me when they cover my hotel in more than likely San Diego next year. They're going to think about me when they pick up the check at the Hilton and find that it's just rife with adult film purchases. Just overrun with porn. So much per pay-per-view porn. And it's going to make Brizzy uncomfortable, but we're going to watch all of it. This game fucking sucks. As it turns out, your, jo your, your job is not actually to get to the core. That's some bullshit false advertising. <laughs> Why do I feel like this was a $12 joke that Rusty Brazen Fire set up at my expense? This man going after Marilyn. I just get mad at Marilyn when I'm driving through it because Sean... Whoever decided it was a good idea to have signs up saying there's a McDonald's at this exit. Chat, if you're driving through Maryland and you're like, oh man, I'm, I could go for a burger. Oh, good news. There's a Burger King this exit. That just means there's a Burger King in Maryland. It doesn't mean it's near the interstate. That's horse shit. The only thing near the interstate is those little... Those little strip malls that they stick in the middle of the median that you drive into the center and it's like a little rest stop that has a Starbucks. But Amber and I, the number of times we've been on tour that we've been driving through Maryland and we're like, man, we could go for some Taco Bell. And the signs on the side of the road are just like, well, do we have good news for you then? There's a Taco Bell off this exit. And this is in the days that predate GPS on phones and stuff. The next thing we know, we've been off the interstate for 20 minutes. And the signs are like, yeah, you're just five miles away from the Taco Bell. You're so close. It's just around the corner. I was like, dog, we are in eastern Pennsylvania. We're going to go downstairs and uh, make what I'm calling chump balaya. Because I've got some of the ingredients for jambalaya downstairs. So I'm going to make a weird bastard version of that so that we can use up stuff that's otherwise going to go bad. Hey, there we go. And that means that you can hear us and that the microphone's working, so. You took my cutting board away. Okay, you want to cut it? I just wanted to show people because Yay, you. Okay, we got three more little guys to go, and then they go in the pot. Actually, you can toss those ones in. The little guys? Little guys. All right. So sausages get um, brown first. I figured. All right, so this is chump balaya. Yeah. This is us just using up stuff that was in the fridge. Do we have shrimp defrosting? Uh, we will in a second. Okay. We've got to cook all this for like half an hour before the shrimp goes in, so we'll get to that. Your face is a half an hour. Okay. Got her. <laughs> Devastating. Okay. <laughs> She'll never survive this chat. Oh, God. Casey says, food is my love language. Well, then you've come to the right place. Because I do food reviews on TikTok in the Richmond area because I have impulse control issues and love to eat food and talk about it nonstop. We talk about food nonstop. All right, cut up kielbasa, spray the bottom of the pan to the Dutch oven, add the kielbasa, cook them for about 10 minutes, fully cooked. Outsides are starting to get brown and rendered. Dice the bell pepper and onion, add them to the kielbasa for another 10 minutes. Oh yeah, KZG, you came to, uh, you came to the neuro spicy, <laughs> you came to the neuro spicy neck of the woods for sure. We are all, uh, we are all of us to varying degrees, deliciously, mentally, all over the chart. Does this recipe not call for any garlic? Is that a real thing? This recipe does not call for garlic. I'm going to put garlic in it. I disagree with sweet and spicy Stephanie, or whatever her name is. Sweet and, sweet and sour Stephanie is entitled to her opinions, but when it comes to the lack of garlic in this recipe, she is incorrect. 
Well, the problem is the, the amount of garlic she recommends is zero. And zero garlic, zero garlic times three garlics is still zero garlics. So I'm going to assume that because she said zero garlics, what she really meant was four. And we'll just put it in at the tail end of all this. Yeah, I was very confused myself, Legolas. I'm starting to believe that this recipe was created by a white woman who's never been to the South. I've seen Chef Andy teach so many people to cut things at Minecraft Marathon. Your knife skulls are absolutely amazing compared to some. I get frustrated with Justin because he knows what he's doing wrong, and I feel like he's doing it to piss us off. He knows what he's doing wrong with his knife skills, and he knows how to fix it, and he refuses to do it because he knows it pisses people off. It's all fun and games until somebody loses a fingertip. Oh my god. Standing here, I just cross my feet because I have this little ballerina stance that I do whenever I'm just trying to like rest like I'm a flamingo. And it makes me pop my back every time. I do this in the shower too. I, okay, this is oversharing. But in the shower, I stand like this with my feet. I, chat, you can't see it, but I have one foot on top of the other and one knee kind of delicately perched out at a 45 degree angle. And then I hold my hands up behind my head like this, like a cobra hood. And that way I feel like I get the most hot water on my body all at once without being in a bath. I maximize exposure of my body to get as much hot water on me as humanly possible. Pretty smart. <laughs> I have no idea if it's pretty smart, but I, I do know that on, on any n number of occasions I'm just like, why am I standing like this and why does it feel instinctive? What are we cooking? I'm calling it chump balaya. I had... A bunch of ingredients that, if you closed your eyes a little bit, kind of resembled jambalaya ingredients. Kind of. And I just wanted to clean them out before they went bad in the fridge. And the only thing I really had to buy was a little bit of shrimp and a green bell pepper. Otherwise, everything that's in here... This stuff we had laying around. A little gumbo filet. Not a lot, because I don't know what it tastes like. It fucking smells good. And then we're going to throw in these leftover green onions I had from when I made the Korean Army stew. Get in there. I paid for all of you. There we go. I had little Smokies left over from the army stew. I had cherry tomatoes left over from the pasta salad. Yeah. For being a bunch of stuff I pulled out of the fridge that I didn't know what the hell I was going to do with it, that was pretty good. A little MSG, a little cayenne. That's not bad. Taffy. Uh, Taffy. No. Uh, Taffy. 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 No. Taffy. <laughs> It shouldn't, it shouldn't take, it shouldn't take, Taffy, don't think about it that much. Okay. Serious? What are you doing? They'll kill us all. Hey, they'll kill us yes. all. You're with them, aren't Taffy. You? I haven't saved the entire game, Noah. This is happening. Get on board. Damn it! it! <laughs> I blame chat. They goaded me. You have no idea how many do-its I have in chat right now. Christ. They killed Elegance! I don't even know who that is. The lady just died right behind your butt. Have fun killing all the tiefling children. Fucking whatever, you know? Like, big, big whoop. 
I think Michael Jordan said it best. I swung at somebody that was like a million miles away. All right, Noah, you made this mess. Now clean it up. You. <laughs> Oh, I am a delight. Wow. I didn't sign up for this shit. All right. Have fun fighting the rest of this without me. And overall, I think it was a good day. So I got groaning in my ear to sound sexual. <laughs>